Hey, it's Rob. Welcome to Axel's Garage. Yeah, I didn't expect to be out here today, but I'm out here, Oscar, doing a little work. Had to be outside today because my wife is inside decorating for Christmas and <laughs> no good. Christmas carols going in the house, music, I had to be outside. So anyway, we got Oscar here. And as you guys know, Oscar is our oldie here. And Oscar sat for five to ten years. We're thinking it might have been more ten years. Uh, the thing with Oscar is, every time we use it, something seems to break. Which is the exact opposite of what I thought was going to go on. Now, I just had a feeling that, that using Oscar every day, going back and forth to work and stuff, would, would make things work better. And it seems to be breaking things. We've replaced the coolant temperature sensor, the thermostat, um, the fuel pump relay, I don't know, some other stuff. We've done videos on them, you've seen them. Um, and now we got a leaky tire, which is, I think it's been leaking since we got it. Fill up all the tires. They all seem to be holding fairly well. I think they're just old and dry rotted. I don't know. This right rear one is giving us the problem, so we're gonna pull it off. And we're gonna spray it down and see if we can find a leak or not. These tires have probably been on here for <laughs> the 10 years that it was sitting. So, I don't know if this little half inch stubby is gonna get them off, but we'll try. Yeah, look at that. Guy. Little stubby guy does pretty good. If you watched some of our stubby videos, and we did a whole series on the 3 a stubby, you know that the bigger the socket, the better they work. This is the half inch. We're going to do a whole series like we did on the 3 a on this one. That's like our winter time thing. Um, but luckily, 13 16 socket adds a little bit of weight to it. I don't even know if I really want to look. Probably should. Everything's real crusty. Um, I guess I should take a look in there while I'm while I got the tire off. But let me get some bubbles so we can spray this down and see if we can find a leak. I spent the last 15 minutes or so, 10 minutes, looking for my air shock. And uh, during the week, I was watching a, a random video that popped up and it said uh, about organizing your workshop or garage or whatever you might have and about having a place for your tools and about putting your tools away and cleaning up your mess and and the biggest thing was uh, he was going everybody says oh, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for that, I don't have time for that and the guy said something that really struck the chord he goes, did you ever spend 15 minutes looking for one of your tools? he goes, well if you did then you got time to put the shit away because, uh, you know, you would have found it otherwise. And I guess he's right because I just spent 10 or 15 minutes looking for a air shock. So I got some air on the tire. I'm going to get the bubbles and spray it down. It's kind of dry checked all over. I think this thing's going to be leaking from everywhere. Let's see. All right, just some Dawn. Mix with water. Where we're bubbling from right there on the bead. Let me bring you in and show you. There we go, leaking on the bead there. There we go, leaking on the bead right there. Huh, I'm surprised the tires themselves aren't all leaking. Well, they might be, but judging, you know, too small, you got one over there too. So judging from the couple of small leaks on the bead, just on this one side, um, that's where our tire is leaking. Well, surprisingly enough, we don't have any leaks on the back. Just these two right on the bead here. So the wheels could be rotted. Could be. Um, we know the tires are dry rotted. All 
All right, so what do we do? I know the spare sucks because it's sitting over there flat, and the wheel that the spare is on is really cruddy. But I do have that one, and I do have another 5x5 five five truck rally somewhere I have to find. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep putting air in this one for now. I'm going to take those two truck rallies, I'm going to get them knocked off the wheels, and I'll refinish those wheels, and then I'll, I'll see if I can find a used set of tires, and I'll start swapping in tires as I have wheels available, and put them on wheels that have uh, been cleaned up and painted, and hopefully they'll seal up nice, because this could either be the tire or the wheel uh, that it's leaking, but it's only like i got to put air in it once a week at this rate. So I think I can live with it in the, in the short term um, while I keep browsing uh, the classifieds, whether it be Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or whatever, for a used set of uh, tires, because there's no way I'm putting new tires on this thing at this point in, in, in where it is. So I'll fill this up with air, um, fix a flat, fix a flat, I wonder. Nah, I'm not going to put fix a flat in it because I know I'm going to be uh, refinishing these wheels and you know with that fix a flat makes a disgusting mess on the inside. So I'm just going to put air in it once a week, leave it, change the oil, get the other stuff done that I was planning on doing today and uh, and drive this thing. Should I look at those brakes? I really don't want to. Mm. It stops. I, I just, uh, I don't know. Maybe. That's it. That's our uh, Oscar update. Oscar's doing pretty good, driving back and forth to work. Um, it's got some funny noises. If you watch the videos, watch the Oscar videos. It's got some funny noises that we haven't figured out yet. Um, things, you know, are still breaking, and we're kind of getting used to things before we start uh, taking it apart. Once I get a good area where I want to get that bed off and do that bed for us so I can get it mounted on level because it's kind of jacked because the wood's all rotted. But we're using it. I love it. Um, really do. And uh, that's it today from Max's Garage. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.